man so look check it out people can get mad all they want dog you can get mad all you want people gotta stop living in in this delusional fictional ass world dog where we criticize one player and ignore the other player and like I always say, dog, it's it's LeBron's fans that do this shit. It's his fans that do this shit, dog. And one of the things I always loved about Kobe was that man, he took accountability. You know what I'm saying? Even though he knows it's his teammates' fault, man, I gotta be better. I gotta be a better leader. You know what I'm saying? Like th the shit drives me crazy dog like literally we criticize anthony davis for being injured all the time right calling a man street clothes changing his name to unavailable you know what i'm saying just always on this man head right when in reality because people don't like to operate in reality in reality the Lakers haven't had two healthy superstars because, once again, Paul Gasol was not a superstar. We're talking about Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe is the last time you had two healthy superstars for a stretch of years, you know what I'm saying, for a long period of time. Truth be told, even when Kobe... Had the White Howard and Steve Nash, that team was injured too. It's hard to keep your stars healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to keep them healthy for, for a long time. I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know if it's people's nutrition. LeBron spending a million dollars, two million dollars on his body. He's been hurt the last five seasons. Every season he played with the Lakers, bro, he's been hurt. The only season that he had a successful season, he they didn't even play a full season. They had four months off, right? Was the bubble season. They won the championship. They had four months off. And the most convenient championship ever. I call it the great value championship. You know how it looked like the real thing, but it's not necessarily the real thing. And I don't care how y'all take it. I really don't give a fuck. That shit ain't no real championship. You ain't have to. There was no grind to that championship, dog. Y'all in Orlando. You're not traveling. There's no fans in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no real coverage. Ain't no real war. The Bulls would have never made it to the championship, dog. In a regular season, you're not facing. I mean, Miami would have never made it to the championship. You're not facing Miami in the finals, dog. Think about that. You're not facing Miami in the finals. Man, them people not making it to no championship in no 82-game season, in a regular season, dog. Without that bubble shit, man, the Lakers or Miami wouldn't have made it to the fucking championship game. Man, people didn't even want to come back and play under them conditions, bro. People literally dying, losing their life. You know what I'm saying? They merely gave us basketball back just to give us a little bit of normalcy. You know what I'm saying? Didn't nobody even want to play in that shit. You feel me? That's a hell of a way to get your fourth championship. But ultimately, man, his stint in, in L.A., man, look, he been injured. Him and A.D. been injured, bro. And people keep blaming it on A.D. The only player that was consistent was Russ. Shit, he was he was there. You knew Russ was playing. You, you feel me? The first year, LeBron played about 55 games. He had the groin injury, right? Then I think the next year they had the whole bubble incident happen. You know what I'm saying? And he they won the championship, but they took four months off. The year after that, I think he played like 46, 47 games. The year after that, he played another... 50 game season and then this year he's at that 50 game mark you might get you might get 50 58 games out of lebron this year you know what i'm saying like 
He's not playing all the games either. Shit. It's one thing to play 80 games. 78 games. 75 games. I'll be cool with 75. But you you haven't played 60 games in the last five years. You've been hurt too. But everybody want to blame Anthony Davis, dog. Like, stop it, dog. We got to do better, dog. We got to hold people accountable. You got to hold your superstars accountable, dog. Shit. You ain't seen LeBron after he broke Kareem's record. LeBron ain't been LeBron after since since uh he did that shit. But now you hurt. And then after you break the record, you don't even play the next game. That's why AD was mad. AD was mad because he feel like, dog, it's all about this nigga. Even when LeBron came back, he came up, he came back off the off the bench, fucking up the chemistry of the team. You know what I'm saying? Because they was really rolling and playing better without LeBron. Because this shit, you got people that got to stand on the perimeter. LeBron's game does not fit. Everybody think that because he can pass, dog, that somehow you can put anybody on the floor with LeBron, dog. And that's not the case. That's not the case, bro. What made Kobe and Shaq work so well, man, Kobe game, can you can mesh his game with anybody. He can play off of, off of Shaq. Kobe can play off of AD, off of Powell. Because he can shoot. Shit. So who you going to leave? Kobe, shoot that hoe. Everybody talking. Oh, LeBron got a better shooting percentage than Kobe. Man, stop it, man. Stop it. Shit. The reason why Kobe and Shaq work so well, not because Shaq wasn't the most dominant player you know what i'm saying because he was but what allowed him to be dominant is the fact that shit your other superstar is a fucking dog on the perimeter shit kobe game really can go with anybody dog lebron can't shoot i'm sorry i don't give a fuck what the percentage say he ain't no shooter ain't nobody scared of him shooting the fucking ball nope they just don't want this nigga going downhill that's it Anything other than that, man, you can have that shit. You don't play great perimeter defense. You got you had a few years in Miami where you played great defense, dog. That's it. LeBron's game don't mess with everybody. He's not a phenomenal ball handler, so he's not getting to certain spots on the floor the way that a Wade or fucking Kobe would get to those spots. You know what I'm saying? It's different. It's just so frustrating because shit, it ain't LeBron's fault, dog. It's the fucking fans. Them fucking fans, boy, make you vote for LeBron for president. That's what the fuck they want to do. They want LeBron to be the ple the president, bro. That's that's what they want. Shit, they make you mad with LeBron. But we gotta stop with this narrative, dog. Like, that nigga is great. Top five all time. But listen here. I'm still trying to figure out the fuck he got a 98 on the video game. That nigga can't shoot. He can barely dribble. Shit. Where the 98 coming from? What skills do this nigga have? Like, that nigga 75% dribble ball handler. 75, I mean, uh, rating. 75 uh, rated ball handling and shit you know what i'm saying like that nigga shouldn't be no higher than 75 his jump shot should be no higher than 75 dog that nigga got a c average game and be having a 98 let me stop lebron cold as fuck i ain't i ain't, I ain't gonna even, i ain't gonna play with the man he cold he a cold motherfucker you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying as far as the fans dog they make you start Saying outrageous shit Because they be outrageous with they shit Y'all mad with AD How y'all mad with AD How he hating on LeBron Because the man upset they losing And everybody running on the court Cheering and shit Because he broke the all time scoring record The man is mad I want to make the playoffs Because I know if they don't make the playoffs 
I'm going to be the reason why we don't. I'm going to be the scapegoat. Just like Chris Boss. Just like Kevin Love. The scapegoat, dog. Kevin Love was averaging 26 and fucking 13 before he came the season, before he came to uh, uh, Cleveland. The man was a dog. Chris Bosh averaging a double-double. Telling you, man. See, it's something about playing with playing with Brian, dog. Like that spot up in the corner shit and turning everybody into jump shooter shit, dog. Like, man, that shit don't work for everybody. LeBron been playing the same way, dog, since high school. That was his game in high school. Let him drive the ball and let his teammates shoot. That was his game. Shit. You got a big that's going to run the floor, somebody he can throw oops to and shit. Everybody else need to be able to shoot. That was his game in high school, dog. That was his game when he was playing with the Cavs. Booby Gibson and motherfucking Mo Williams. Parker and all of them boys. Man, them boys shoot that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's why they was winning 60 some games. His game, his game do not allow for the coach to be creative, dog. You need shooters around LeBron. You can't run no triangle offense, no equal opportunity ass offense. Because LeBron can't play off the ball. LeBron was only supposed to win three championships, dog. His game was enough to get him three championships. That's it. In an all-time scoring record. I say that. Defensively, I think, you know what I'm saying? Getting chased down blocks, and he's athletic enough to get out in the lanes, get transition dunks and shit, you know what I'm saying? I would love to see how many points he scored just out in transition. I give you a good 20,000 just off transition. You dig? I think everything else, the, the league changing and going more perimeter oriented definitely helped him get, you know, the other, what, 13,000, 13, 14,000. 13, 14, I'm just talking shit, but I'm just saying, shit. His game was enough to get him three championships. They had to give him a four. They knew if they didn't give him at least four, shit, ain't nothing to talk about. They pushing it now. He only got four. He already the GOAT. Shit, how? How he the GOAT? Stop it. Stop it, dog. Anyway, man, ran over, man. Ran over.